Welcome back to another American Truck Simulator video. Today we're going to be checking out the Utility 3000R by Dro Modding. D R O Modding. Dro Modding. Let's take a look at it real fast here. It's got the inside model, it's got the little ductwork, got the reefer unit on the front. Now, there is different versions. You can have standard or custom connections. I'm not really sure. That puts the airlines down below for some reason. I don't know why, but it's almost, it almost makes the airlines go from the truck to the kingpin on the trailer. I don't know. But we've got different skins, different size. We've got stainless steel, stock, um, skinned. Stock drive van with no reefer unit, and you got the stainless steel drive van, and the skin drive van, and you got uh, regular double axle, spread axle, spread axle all the way back, and a tri axle version. They got different skins, change colors. 7 Up, a Swift, CR England, where is it? Little Caesars, May Trucking, National Careers, Navajo, Pacific, Swift, all them kinds. So that's that. And the options here you got different mud flaps you can choose from. Um, whatever you like in that area. There's a bunch of things. You can have you some mud flat weights, weights or things that hold the mud flap down. Oh, yeah. Blinkers, rear plate goes in the center. We got a uh, right here bumper. Change your DOT bumper. Put flaps on your bumper if you want to. Whatever. Um, and on the thermal king part of it, there is, they got different. Uh, if you go to the reefer section, you go back, you can change it. You can put custom uh, side vents on it. Um, they got the old fashioned Thermo King, they got the Carrier Thermo King, different ones. Um, really, whatever you'd like. A lot of choices. They got your tank, you have different dual tanks, move tanks forward, backwards, wherever you want them. Same with the landing gear, you can have chrome landing gear, painted landing gear. Um, you have chrome handle on the landing gear. Lights on the side, you can change the top to bottom. You know, you can paint the rails if you want the rails a different color in the trailer. Quite a bit to it. So let's get it in game and see what it looks like. Which I already have it. Gotta load the game. We'll go pick up a load and deliver it in what it looks like. This is the one I got in game, just a regular chrome side version. Spread axle. Got the mud flaps with the little chrome on the bottom of them. The chrome landing gear there. There's standard airlines and tanks and everything. We got the P379 extended hood from Project P3XX. Um, I'll put the link for the trailer in the description down below. If you want the link for the truck, leave a comment and I'll see if I can dig it up for you. Um, I'm sure you can find it on your popular ATS mod sites. Quick Google search and you'll probably find it. 
Beach Project Peterbilt 3XX. That's just that's what it's called. It's made by a whole bunch of different people. It's different trucks. It's got the basically all the Peterbilt 300 series. Got the 389, the 379, the 360. What is it? Eight. I'm not 100 sure, but there's like four or five different trucks. So. Um, all into the one mod and you change the different styles in the uh, shop settings you can put different hoods and different dashes and stuff like that to make them different different versions right now we're heading up to I have no idea where we're heading to heading out to the farm we're in uh, Fort Collins Colorado. We're going to run down to Denver, I do believe it is, with a load of yogurt. Or we'll be going from the farm to the Walmart down in Denver. Got the Cummins engine, 600 something horsepower with the uh, Eaton Fuller 18 speed. A 3.40 gear ratio, I think. I don't know, I got like three or four different project Peterbilt 3X trucks. So I got this one that's customized and stretched out. I got one that's just normal and then I got one that's set for heavy haul, so kind of hard to keep track of which one's which. They're all different. Usually I'll, I'll always have the load picked up before I start the video, but this one's kind of, uh, well, I had to do the video again because the game sound didn't record. I'm hoping this time it's recording. We're in version 1.39 something 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 S whatever the latest version of 1.39 is that's what we're in um, I'm sure this trailer works in version 1.402 just that uh, the headlights and the lights look weird in version 1.40 on the modded trucks because they're not adjusted the new lighting. Or at least the project Peterbilt 3XX trucks aren't adjusted anyway. Don't mean all modded trucks are like that. There's a few that actually work right. The mods the uh, creators updated. I think I'm gonna be taking 14 west. Right here. Come on, go for that damn combine gets up here. We'll be here all damn day. I'll stop in the middle of the road. I hate those combines. Those those damn little sprinter vans. Limit 70 and they're doing 20. Well, we gotta turn in here. All the way down and around. Move, move, move out of the way. Because the other dogs are barking. Hut. Hey. 
Either go out there and bark, or don't bark at all. Fine. chocks or something on the trailer. Huh. Never seen that before. Okay, we're gonna be going to Colorado Springs, it looks like actually. Load of yogurt. <sighs> Sweep that shit up, dude. You'd actually throw it in the dumpster and help sweep it up. Boy, that works. I should have said throw it in the dumpster to start with. Let's sweep it up. Yeah, it's a garage door, doesn't have to be perfect. Good enough for them, good enough for me. Alright. Well, it's gonna be getting dark here soon, so... We'll be able to see what it looks like with all the lights and everything on, too. Loaded up with our yogurt, we're ready to roll. Then we can get the hell out of here. She just came in this way. The one had to go through the dirt. light on the reef for back here it means it's running Stay nice and cool I want no hot yogurt I'm sure that'd probably be nasty Some Project NG next gen graphics. So we'll have the red no textured sun block. Minecraft sun. Call it. Shade. We're using the uh, NVIDIA game filter, which is basically reshading. Get in this lane. I think we're going to be in this lane anyway, if I remember right. Damn. 
damn vans, those damn sprinter vans. Those things are slow. They're not as slow as the com combines, but they're slow. I think they got like a top speed of 60. traffic holding it up could have used the center lane to turn that's just rude It says 14 to 25 Jefferson Street. That's what we want. 25. Go south. Fort Collins, Colorado Springs. The yogurt. From the farm to the mark. Walmart. Topia. They got a drive through. station. Nope. Go by. Bypass. Nice. We're good to go. Yeah. 
I see you in a little car. I knew you was going to do that. Who was one that said, like to switch lanes back and forth? Drain frop. 
frame drop shit like that. I just completely couldn't talk right then. It was just blah, blah, blah. I think I was having issues myself. in 4.0 but I haven't fixed it in 1.39 yet. Why do I keep forgetting I guess? Two girls, this girl driving, guy sitting in pastures. So.
We don't care. We're right over there somewhere. Be a FedEx. No Walmart. Back in the bag. like it. Couldn't hear the reefer runner. Oh, it's a whisper thermo key. 134 miles, 3 hours, 41 minutes, 37.6 gallons of fuel used to $8,272. Level 35, 18 wheels of skill, divine champion. Oh, that's the other one. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, leave a comment down below. Hi, bye. Your videos are great, they suck, whatever. And we'll see you in the next video.